So you have an idea for an online course. You have a course topic that you want to create a course around and you want to do some market research. You do not want to risk creating something that nobody's interested in, right? You want to create something that people really, really want and need. I've actually had somebody, an example of this, of what not to do. An instructor who created a course around how to find an employment, pretty much. It was created for job seekers. And obviously, this is the wrong market. I mean, who's more likely to afford your course? Someone who's working or someone who is jobless? That's a no-brainer, right? And to top it off, he actually, the requirements uh, for achieving any kind of result for, with, with his course are unbelievable. It just made it impossible for anyone to even think in their mind that this course is going to help them in any way. So that's just a, something to be wary of. I've heard somebody say that my job is not to help somebody start from scratch. My job is to help people who are already successful do even better. I think that particular person, I don't remember who it was, but he's going after the right market, right? Somebody who's already succeeding, somebody who can afford your product, he can jump on it, he can make sense of your solution, and then boom, they buy the course. That's a much easier job to do. So we're going to look at two things, right? You have an idea for a course now, and you want to create a course that people want, a course that's going to sell, a course that's going to be profitable and successful. We're going to look at two things. First, we're going to look at some courses, right? You, you want to look at some already existing successful courses. Number two, we're going to look at student reviews, exactly what's making students happy campers. But also, we want to look at where these instructors are doing a poor job, right? Where you can improve. So basically doing the things that they did right, but also not making the mistakes that they made. And that's really the recipe to creating a great online course. And so let's do an example. I've actually helped a client of mine recently. He is my co-instructor, Del Preachahal, with two of his courses, as you can see here. And we're going to do, for example, uh, this one, the Forex trading course. So you go to Udemy and you type in the search bar Forex trading, right? That's the topic of the course, right? Forex trading. And then you hit enter. Now, we're not going to be talking about the profitability here, right? We're going to address that in a future lecture. So the first courses that come up in the search results are courses you want to pay attention to, right? Because that means that these people are doing something right. Right, you don't. Your course doesn't just appear on the on the first page, out of nowhere. Right, it's no coincidence. Okay, so we're gonna open uh, these in a new tab. The complete foundation forex trading and forex trading A to Z. Um, technical analysis. It's actually a different topic. Um, okay, forex robots. That's a subtopic, if you will, within Forex trading, right? Okay, gonna go down a little bit more. Mm, algorithmic trading, candlestick patterns, all those are subtopics. Advanced uh, Forex trading. Okay, there we go. We're gonna open this one as well. As you can see, 1,500 reviews, mm, which means that these courses have been here for a while. Okay, let's look at the first three, right? Obviously, I'm just going to do this as an example. So you can do the same thing, right? With your own course topic. Okay. So title A to Z, for extreme A to Z, means this is a complete course, which is what we did with our course, right? The ultimate for trading course, complete for trading. That's what we're doing, right? We're offering the same thing, basically. This is not a course that is complete and ours is not, right? Both of these courses are complete with live examples, right? Live examples. We also offer tons of examples in the course as well. Okay. Um, okay. Forex trading, forex trading, beginners and experienced. Learn trading by doing, right? Live examples, forex with real money in MetaTrader 4. Right. Mm. Okay. I'm a co instructor on the course, so I gotta open it in a incognito window. Right. Okay with practical examples, right? Okay, we're gonna go to the learning outcomes. As you can see, the course is 5.5. Our course is a lot longer than that. It's 11 hours, which is a good thing. Students love comprehensive online courses that cover a topic from A to Z. 
And these courses are doing really well on Udemy. You can just check any topic and that will be the case with every single one of them. I'm going to say not every topic, but most of them, especially something like Forex trading, something that has anything to do with programming, um, with business and courses like that. They're really, really long. And at the same time, that's the kind of courses that really sell. OK, so that's another thing to pay attention to. Obviously, the course price Udemy dictates that you may choose the course price that you want to price your course at, but Udemy selects what price point to choose for any course topic, right? And then if you choose to be part of Udemy's marketing programs, they're going to sell your course whenever they run site-wide sales at a price point of their choosing, right? It's usually between $10 and $12. So let's look at the learning objectives, full understanding of how the, the Forex market operates, select a broker. These are the topics basically that, that the students are going to learn. Okay, understand what leverage is and how it affects your trading, tell the difference between a pip and a point, the three types of forex analysis, fundamental, technical, and sentiment. By the end of the course, you will have a substantial arsenal of technical analysis techniques. You will know the basics of calculating and managing risks when trading forex, so risk management, the difference between base and quoted currencies. So you look at every single one of these things and then you, you write them down. What are these people doing right? Okay, requirements, just an open mind. That's perfect. You don't want to make it hard for people to buy your course. You don't want to have a lot of requirements for people to buy your course. You want to make it easy for them to purchase your course. Learn everything you need to know to start trading on the Forex market today, right? That's another thing. You learn how to trade the Forex market today. That means you're going to spend a few hours on the course and then you're going to start today applying what you learn and profiting from the Forex market. That's very, very important. Right? People don't want to spend out countless hours with an online course that's never going to result in anything, right? They want to get a specific result. People don't want to learn forex trading for the, for the heck of learning forex trading. They want to profit. They want to trade and make profitable trades. In this course, I will show you how you can get started. That's another thing you want to pay attention to. So these courses are basically for beginners. If you check most of the topics on Udemy, that's the case. Right, courses that take people from a basic level to an advanced level. We will talk in detail about currencies, charts, bulls, etc. Thoroughly explain, right? We already talked about that. Easily separate honest brokers from the unreliable ones, right? So mistakes not to make when it comes to choosing a broker. A real trading account, right? That means that a lot of other courses are not offering that, right? That That's what you would assume. Like when you read this, you don't think that other people are doing the same thing. That's what you want to do with your course. You want to make the only course that people want to enroll in. You want to make it easy for them to choose your course. I even include a free guide to selection a Forex trader, a Forex broker based on my own experience of real trading. That means I have real expertise in, the, in, in this domain. In this course, you will learn how to read the calendar of economic events, which is imper imperative uh, fund for fundamental trading on Forex as well as other financial marketplaces such as Da, 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 okay, also the uh, forex market hours. Well, paper for your time zone. Mm. Right. He's, he's stacking the benefits exactly what you're going to get in the course, right? Okay, so nothing is kept secret. I reveal all I know, right? Secrets. Uh, new lecture, new new lectures will be added to the course constantly. It's going to be regularly updated at no extra cost. Take this course now and learn from. Uh, this, by the way, is standard. You don't want your course to be. Out of, out of date, right? You want it to be updated regularly. Take this course now and learn from my seven years of experience. Okay, about the, mo the most common pitfalls. Okay, mm, perfect. So all of that you gotta write down, right? Okay, as well with all my courses, you have unlimited lifetime, blah, blah, blah. All of this is standard, right? With most uh, Udemy courses. Okay, who this course is for? Anyone who wants to get, again, you want to be really careful with this. You don't want to say, oh, it's the, my course is for these people specifically. Anyone else cannot. You don't want to do that, right? Unless that's the case. But I'm going to say right now, if you want your course to be successful, you don't want it to target a specific segment of the market unless it represents the majority of the market, right? Okay, anyone who wants to brush up on their forex for knowledge, right? So more and more people, whether you want to trade the market, you want to brush up on your knowledge, you want to understand how to financial markets. I mean, you're not even interested in, you know, making any, uh, in becoming a trader, uh, how to read forex charts, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, etc. 
Okay, now let's look at student reviews. So what you want to do is just look at the things that each course offers that, you know, you think are really key in getting people to enroll in these specific courses, right? That's what, what you want to pay attention to because you want to offer, offer the same thing and do an even better job of, con of convincing students to take your course versus these other courses, okay? You want to do this with your own course topic. Okay, the course was above what I expected, uh, was about what I expected. There were... Uh, a few times regarding historical and psychological price levels that were kind of rushed through. You don't want to rush through your stuff. Okay, not in the initial explanation, but more in the life trading sessions that I think could have been explained in a little more detail, right? That's two mistakes he's shown us so far that you don't want to make with your course. But it was not a major issue for me. Uh, obviously, if you do a good job with like 90% of the course or 80%, students are going to tend to overlook the other stuff. Okay, but it was not a major issue for me. I do believe that I will purchase additional courses like real teachers to continue the education. Thank you. If students are satisfied with your course, they will buy your other courses and you don't even have to ask them. Of course, you want to do that. You want to promote your courses constantly. But when you do a good job like this, students are going to tend to buy your other courses um, on their own with no effort on your part, except, of course, doing exactly uh, what we're talking about here and creating something that's really, really beneficial for them. You also want to look at the course content for X basics, acronyms, acronyms and jargon, for X analysis, fundamental, fundamental analysis. These are subtopics, right? So the topic is forex trading. The subtopics within the course that the course addresses are these, right? The basics, the, the, the acronyms and jargon, analysis, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, MetaTrader, which is the software, um, calculating risks. Um, so that's probably risk management and examples using real money, which students really, really, really appreciate because they, they can see you actually applying what the course teaches and achieving success with it. Right. So that's hugely beneficial. Another thing is bonus lectures, right? This is where you sell your other courses, right? Something special only for students with this course, get weekly trade ideas and insights. Okay. Great. Let's look at some more reviews. This course is where my Forex history started. It's great, it's comprehensive, and it's the best introductory course I have ever taken. Awesome. I came here with the goal of learning the bare minimum basics of Forex in an attempt to begin trading and gain what I feel is much more than that. I feel more than equipped to jump into the beginning of my trade journey. I think this person left a two-star review, which is a negative review uh, by mistake, right? Because it seems that they're happy with the course. Right. So they're looking to, to learn the bare minimum. So you're looking at the kind of student, right, um, that enrolls in these courses, right? Identifying exactly the target student for this particular course topic. It has been a constructive learning pro process. Good modules all together through. Um, I would have loved more explanation on leverage. For example, what is 130, 150, 31? Uh, etc and who sets the leverage overall really good course and they advise everyone to take it that's what you want everybody to say about your course i'm glad i registered for this course this is absolutely second to none i'm so excited because it has transformed this is not really specific so it doesn't give you any data that's going to be help you build your own course okay michael horn uh this was my first of two forex courses from udemy and i was very impressed by it I had a little knowledge about the Forex market and I, what I learned in this course further reinforces the knowledge I had before and taught me a lot more. The presenter was very clear, you gotta be clear, easy to understand. This course is not, not the, not at all, I'm not sure what you started saying, whether you are a beginner or intermediate, right, we already talked about this, you will come away with enough knowledge to proceed on your trading journey. As someone who has completed the Forex and gained a lot of valuable knowledge, I highly recommend this course. Okay, All right. Now, this is a negative review. Useless. You can find so much more and thorough information for beginners in you on YouTube uh, for free. And if I searched earlier, I'd never buy this. Seriously. Do you call it teaching, describing something? And in the middle of, uh, in the middle of it saying, but you'll get the hang of it as soon as you try for yourself. Maybe I don't want to try unless I feel sure that I can do it the right way. Mm, so it seems to me that the instructor said something that, you know, in, the student interpreted, interpreted in the wrong way. That's what I think happened here.
which might happen with your course as well. But not to worry as long as your course is uh, well done um, and exactly um, is what the student is looking for and what students as a whole, as a majority, want to learn, um, you're in the clear. Yes, I, I myself, uh, I'm a bit of a mathematical person, so this instructor and the way he presented things fit me very well. I feel I can now start my trading career, okay? The facilitator is a born teacher. He gives you different options and the likely outcome of the option chosen and an important disclaimer that the option may not be the best at all times. So he, so he prepares ones psychologically for training, okay? I've taken a few Udemy courses and other topics which turned out to be mediocre, but this is the first one. This is a beneficial, right? This is obviously, um something to 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 pay attention to right you don't want to do the same thing and maybe this tells you that other instructors are maybe doing a poor job which in my experience a lot of them are and that's something you can capitalize on right you don't want to repeat this th their same mistakes and that's the whole point of this whole thing of the market research that we're doing the first one i can say i felt it was worth it uh while i've watched forex youtube videos i really feel like Felt like the instructor helped connect all the dots for me. Uh, from what is Forex to how you can actually trade Forex, I really enjoyed the course as a beginner. Okay, so you want you to, to make your course beginner friendly. It was a great informative course. I could have loved to see a couple of lost trades to keep things a bit realistic for novice, novice traders, but overall very informative and helpful course. So I could, I could go on forever with these uh reviews obviously there's so many of them there's eighteen thousand reviews and ratings and then you do the same thing with the second course that's pretty much all you do you collect all that data and you create your course around it and that pretty much guarantees that you create you're going to create something that's going to be really really profitable for you and really really beneficial to your students